One thing that's painful for me to watch is people squinting at the screen trying to get objects to line up in PowerPoint and the tiny tweaks and nudges that you do to get everything the same size. So here's a twofer that will get you out of the business of nudging, tweaking, and squinting. First, these three objects are nearly the same size, but that circle looks a bit smaller, right? So let's make all the shapes the same relative size as the circle. By clicking on the circle and looking at the Shape Format tab, we see that it's 2.5 inches tall by 2.5 inches wide. Let's select both the other shapes and also make them 2.5 inches tall by 2.5 inches wide. Done. Now, let's get them lined up and evenly spaced. In this case, I could simply use Control A to select all, but I could also draw a box around them like this. That's a good technique to use when there's more than a few things on the screen. On Shape Format, I'm going to click the Align button and first align the tops. While they're all still selected, I can just use Distribute Horizontally to get them evenly spaced. However, they are, as a group, a bit skewed to the left. So I'm going to bring the one that is on the right a little farther to the right and do that same operation again. Perfect. Love learning how to make your life easier in technology? You'll love my new Watch and Learn subscription. With an annual subscription, you get a full year of automatic registrations to every Sawbuck seminar we do and a full year's access to the recordings plus bonus sessions for the price of 10 webinars. All you have to do is subscribe at melissaescabell.com slash watch dash learn. And check this out. Now through June 30th, if you've purchased any webinar from January through June of this year, including the one coming up this week, you'll automatically get a second year of Watch and Learn absolutely free when you subscribe. That's about 60 webinars plus access to the recordings for a year, all for the price of 10 webinars. Take care, everybody.